If our planet Donda is a rotating sphere of radius 5.87 times 10 to the 6 meters, and it, its year, the period for Donda, is one Earth day, so it's a very fast rotation around its sun, what is the centripetal acceleration at two points? So we're going to draw Donda through its middle there. What is its acceleration for people standing on the equator? What is it, the acceleration of people standing at 50 degrees north? Okay, so this acceleration, we have this radius r, and for this acceleration, we have radius r1. Okay, so basically what we want to do is find the acceleration at these two points there. Now, we know that the velocity of points going around in a circle is 2 pi r over t. So we will be able to figure out the velocity of people at that point, and that is exactly what we need to figure out centripetal acceleration, v squared over r. So we want to figure out the centripetal acceleration. We know the radius at this point. We can easily figure the radius out at this point, just through a little bit of algebra, geotrig. And then we can figure out, as long as we know v, we can figure out the total acceleration. So let's start off with at the equator. So at the equator, we know the radius. Uh, let's figure out the velocity. v at the equator equals 2 pi radius, 5.8. 7 times 10 to the 6th all over the period t. So this is in days. We need this in seconds. So before we can put this in here, we can't just put 1 in there. We have to put it in seconds. We have to have the right units. So let's convert it to seconds. So we'll do this using unit analysis. So we have 1 day times, we want to convert days, let's go to hours. How many hours in a day? 24 hours for one day. So we'll get rid of our days. We're left with hours. Let's convert hours to minutes. Times 60 minutes per hour. So we'll get rid of hours. And we're left with minutes, and we want seconds. Times 60 seconds per minute. I'll get rid of minutes. So basically 24 times 60 times 60, that gives us a total of 86,400 seconds in a day. Seconds per day, basically. So that's how many seconds we're going to be using. So 86,400. So the velocity of people at this point on the Earth is equal to 426.878 meters per second. And now, what I don't do here is I don't round off yet, because if you round off, you're going to get errors in the end of your answer. You don't round off till the very end. So I'll use all these numbers in here. Centripetal acceleration at the equator is equal to v squared over r. So v squared, 426.878 squared over r, my radius, is 5.87 times 10 to the 6. Gives me a centripetal acceleration of Three point one zero times ten minus two meters per second squared. And that's for the centripetal acceleration at the equator. Okay, now we want to figure out the centripetal acceleration up here. So what we have to do is we have to use this radius here, R1. So what is R1? Well, if this is 50, we know this whole thing is 90. This must be 40 here. 40 degrees. Now on R1, we have to use sine 40 to figure out R1. So 
this is r, right? Because this is a sphere, so if it's r here, it's r here. And we know that sine 40 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so r1 equals r sine 40 degrees. So that's what we have to use for r1. So we do the exact same thing to figure out what our centripetal acceleration is at 40 degrees. I can say v equals 2 pi r over t, and I can plug in 2 pi. Radius is r, which is 5.87 times 10 to the 6. times sine 40. So V at, 40 degree, at 50 degrees north is 274.39 meters per second. So ne next thing I'm going to do is figure out the centripetal acceleration. acceleration is v squared over r, which is just this, 274.39 squared, all over r, which is 5.87 times 10 to the 6th, sine 40, gives me a centripetal acceleration of 2, 0, 0 times 10 minus 2 meters per second squared.